In this video, we're going to look at editing game dialogue. You can see I have a Pro Tools session already open, and it contains some dialogue clips that were recorded during the previous recording session. The first thing we're going to do is grab some of these clips that represent raw dialogue record takes and drag them out on a track to select the best takes. One handy way to do this is to set your timeline drop order to left to right, then grab some of those clips, for example, all of the enemy dialogue, and drag them out onto the tracks playlist. Note that rather than dropping the clips onto the tracks playlist in a top to bottom order, it will drop them in a left to right order. This makes it really easy to grab multiple clips and drop them onto the same playlist for editing. Now that we've got all of the raw enemy clips on the playlist, we're ready to select the best takes. We'll simply select one of the recorded clips, listen through it, and try to identify the best take. Okay, so I like the second take the best. At this point, all I'm going to do is make a rough selection around that take, and then I'll play it one more time to make sure I didn't miss anything. Then we're going to use the capture command to make a new clip out of this selection. At this point in the process, we're not concerned about the extra material at the beginning and the end of the selection. There are two ways to use capture. You can either go to the clip menu and choose capture, or you can press Command R on the Mac or Control R on Windows. Next, the name dialog will appear and we can give the captured clip a meaningful name. As you can see, the newly captured clip will appear in the clips list. Let's go ahead and play through our two remaining raw clips and pick out the best takes. In this one, I think I like the third take the best. So I'll go ahead and select that one and once again play through to make sure I didn't miss anything. Ah! Then we'll go ahead and capture that take and give it a name. Then we'll move on to the third record pass. For that one, I like the third take the best, so I'll go ahead and select it, audition the selection. Execute the capture command and name the clip. So there you have it. We've gone through all three of the record passes and selected the best takes. And now we're ready to edit these selected takes more precisely. At this point, you can go ahead and remove those clips from the playlist and hide the DIA new track. Now we're ready to edit those takes more precisely. Once again, I'll take advantage of the left to right timeline drop order to drag and drop these three takes onto the enemy dialog track. Then I can use the zoom toggle command to zoom in and more precisely edit these individual takes. First, I'll trim the start and end to get rid of the extra material. Then I'll add small fades at the beginning and end. And of course, you always want to audition your work in each step of the process to make sure that everything sounds good. And now let's quickly edit the remaining two clips.
And now you should be sure to save your progress before you move on to effects processing.